Hey, I'm Sam. I'm Ryan. And today for Campus Style, we're talking about makeup. What's makeup? I'm not really familiar with makeup. I have no idea. A lot of the episodes this season so far have been us, not but mostly anything. me not wearing makeup. Oh, fully. So I don't know. We're, we're exploring. We're learning. We're learning. We're expanding. We're becoming yeah. better people. And yeah. we'll make it there someday. One day with a little glitter. Do you wear makeup in your daily happenings? Yeah, I wear makeup pretty much every day, I would say. Um, sometimes a little bit more than others, but on my day-to-day -day basis, yeah. I do not wear makeup on a regular basis. Really? I can't tell. <laughs> He's just so natural. Have you worn makeup? Naturally. I have worn makeup before. Oh. Um, well, I do theater and stuff like that, so okay. stage makeup, anything like that. I wear makeup every single day, pretty much. Um, but every day it changes. Some days I'll just do eye makeup, other days I'll do full face and makeup. Oh, okay. Yeah. Where are we? We are at Make Pop, which is a youth focused makeup and wellness event with different panels and different booths. Just talking about the diversity of makeup and things. And we're going to talk a lot about Sam's eyebrows today. Yeah. Like a lot. There's two of them. There is two. And they're really, really special. How, how did you come across brows? How did brows become the thing? I had a mentor that taught me how to do brows. Um, she was amazing and I realized that with brows, no matter who you are, it's important. Mm -hmm. um, whether you're like the glam Beverly Hills style or you're the Parisian New York style and you don't wear any makeup, a good brow is amazing on everyone. The soap method too, yeah, me and Sam cool. were in the back and we were just like, the soap method, um, basically what that is, I mean, I, I, I brought it back to my station, but whenever you're using the soap method, you want to get a spoolie brush, dab it in a little bit of water, and I use pear soap. Um, you can use like a Neutrogena clear soap. It, when I say clear, it's not like you can see through it, but it's translucent. It's not, it doesn't have a color to it, and it's not that, um, that white soap that we're using. So it's it's a translucent So Pears is kind of that amber color. Um, so dip the spoolie brush in water and then you just get it all sudsied up. Not too wet because you don't want soap all over your face. Um, and then you just brush them straight up. I actually do a little bit of a back combing motion to get them straight up even more so. Um, and then I grab actually a dry spoolie brush and I set it. I personally use the soap method because um, my hair, are, they are fine, um, but whenever I use a gel, it doesn't quite give the lift that I need. Mm -hmm. um, and mine are thin, actually, so really? I fill them in like very lightly. Yeah, sorry, we're just like looking in, in. in. yeah. Um, <laughs> so yeah, whenever I do, um, do the soap brow method, um, it doubles the shape. That's I go from incredible. straight thin to arched and Yeah, you have brows. an absolutely beautiful oh, arch. Yeah, we yeah. were we were over there at the back thank just you. like those are really nice eyebrows. There's a little bit of makeup and that's it. So tell us a bit about your store at World Town. Yeah, so World Town, I started about four years ago. And basically, I came up with the concept when I was working at uh, some major retailers. And I noticed people were looking for cruelty-free and vegan products. And I was having a hard time directing them to a transparent source. Even though I know there's lots of brands online out there, it was just hard for people to access. So, World Town was born. We will be shutting our physical boutique here in Calgary, but we're going to be working a ton of markets and trade shows and we'll be taking our products all across Canada. These are basically my top three products that I love personally. I cannot live without them. I'm gonna start out with my first one. As a female with oily skin, uh, wearing makeup every day can be a bit of a struggle, especially when it's hot out. So the Lunatic Mystifying Mattifying Powder it has literally been a godsend for me. I'm obsessed with that package. Oh yeah, she's big. The packaging is so adorable. For oily skin folk, um, this is like an absolute amazing product. My next one is actually from Simply Polish. So this is a skincare brand out of Calgary. She uses locally sourced ingredients, which I think is absolutely amazing. And this one's a coffee scrub. So if Ooh. you struggle with dry skin, aka if you live in Calgary, <laughs> um, this is a great product because it really exfoliates and smooths the skin and you're getting no toxins at all while you're using it. It's just beautiful. Like my skin's never felt better. Um, so another like big one for me is the Sugar Pill Dollop <laughs> liquid lipstick. This guy's just a gorgeous peach with a gold sparkle. Mm, really um, cool. It's just so pretty. Yeah, I could wear it every single day. And then my last but not least is Lit. 
So their liquid glitter base is um, hands down one of the most unique products on the market. Um, you can use this with like loose eyeshadows, but it works amazing with their glitter. And this one's just my favorite shade, it's Hawaii Five-O. They're such universal products too, like you can totally wear those like super theatrical, but you can also just kind of use them. It's just like, a, little, a little subtle, subtle. absolutely. Yeah. I yes. love it when people come in and say, oh, I'd love to wear glitter, but I don't feel like I could pull it off. Great thing with Lit Cosmetics is they have like these really fine cut glitters in these neutral shade ranges that literally look good on everyone. And they just jazz up your look really nice without being too over the top. So mm -hmm. I'm going to do a quick little application, show you guys how to actually apply like a glitter lid that's like subtle, believe it or not. Mm -hmm. um, so the shade I'm going to use is going to be Modern Love from Lit. Um, this guy's like a nice cool tone beige, so it's really universally flattering. So basically all I'm going to do is take that little bit of the base on the back of my hand with my uh, index finger here, and then we're just going to lightly apply it over top of the lid. And so I like this because it like uh, allows me to uh, apply it quite thin. And then I'm just gonna take that same figure and take a dab of the glitter, shake off the extra, and tap it on top. So with Sam, we're just gonna take it up to the crease a little bit, you know, because this is a daytime look we're doing. The second product I'm gonna demo is another lip product. So we're gonna use the, um, what's it called again? I think it's a major gold is the color. And so this product you can apply with your fingers really easily. Again, I love stuff that's um, easy to apply. You want to use clean hands, of course. Probably more than I need. This is perfect. This Which is uh, <laughs> makes me just tempted to like go overboard. Honestly, go overboard. I'm yeah, here. You're here. I, yeah. I'm here for it. 